question how can you handle asynchronous errors in javascript answer asynchronous errors can be handled using the catch method of promises or the try catch block when using async await when a promise is rejected or an error is thrown inside an async function you can use the catch method to handle the error with async await you can use the try catch block to catch and handle any errors that occur within the asynchronous function question how can you convert an object to a jso string in javascript answer you can use the json.stringify method to convert an object to a jso string this method serializes the object into a string representation of its jso structure for example question how can you merge two arrays in javascript answer you can use the concat method to merge two arrays in javascript the concat method returns a new array consisting of the elements of the original arrays for example question how can you check if a string contains a substring in javascript answer you can use the includes method or the index of method to check if a string contains a substring the includes method returns true if the substring is found while the index of method returns the index of the first occurrence of the substring or minus 1 if not found for example question how can you convert a number to a string in javascript answer you can use the to string method or the string constructor to convert a number to a string the to string method is called on the number while the string constructor is used as a function for example question how can you sort an array of objects based on a specific property in javascript answer you can use the sort method and provide a comparison function to sort an array of objects based on a specific property the comparison function should compare the desired property of two objects and return a negative zero or positive value for example to sort an array of objects based on the name property question how can you check if an element exists in an array in javascript answer you can use the includes method or the index of method to check if an element exists in an array the includes method returns true if the element is found while the index of method returns the index of the first occurrence of the element or minus 1 if not found for example question how can you convert a string to lower case or upper case in javascript answer you can use the tallover case method or the tuper case method to convert a string to lower case or upper case respectively for example question how can you remove an element from an array in javascript answer you can use the splice method to remove an element from an array by specifying the index and the number of elements to remove for example to remove an element at index 2 question how can you delay the execution of a function in javascript answer you can use the set timeout function to delay the execution of a function by a specified number of milliseconds the set timeout function takes a callback function and a delay time as parameters for example to delay the execution of a function by 1 second 1000 milliseconds these additional scenario based interview questions should provide you with more insights into javascript concepts and their practical implementation remember to understand the underlying principles and practice applying them in various scenarios thank you Please like share and subscribe